Hi guys, welcome, welcome to my messy kitchen, you guys. I'm happy you're here joining me. I'm happy I'm here with you. So, a couple things before we get messy here. First of all, I want to thank everybody. I would like to be able to reach out to every single person who commented through YouTube or Facebook groups. Um, and I try, I try really hard. So if I missed anybody, I apologize. And there's a, a group that I have temporarily been suspended for, for too many comments, even though I'm saying thank you. So if you commented from that group, because I believe I can post, but I can't comment, I do apologize. Uh, my intention is not to ignore anybody whatsoever. So let's go on to talk about paint. So today I went shopping to my favorite stores, which at one time, you know, was like Lacenza and Sephora. Now it's Home Depot and Lowe's. So I went to Home Depot this morning to buy paint. And of course, you know, you have to peruse all the aisles and see what else there is and what you can buy. And I found a product and I have to tell you guys, this is awesome. So if you can see it, I hope you can. It's called Lift Off. And it's a latex paint remover. I don't know if anybody's ever used it. I've never even seen it. Um, it says it breaks the molecular bond. So let me tell you. First of all, it stinks really, really badly. And it's definitely something you need to use with your windows wide open. But oh my God, I used it. Try, try first before you go crazy. I tried it on my floor and my cell phone and my doorknobs and my light switches and my sweater and the side of my stove. And yeah, you know how it goes, guys. We get paint everywhere. Super, super good product. It probably has a bit of an acetone base. So I think that's why it sort of suggests that you try it first and do but it works really, really well. Um, I'm not a product girl, as you know, I don't have to have the best, uh, but yeah, I will definitely buy that again. Absolutely. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is transfer swipes. So somebody told me that they were actually called ribbon pours, and I'm gonna stick with my theory. I don't know if I already said this, Okay, if I did, I'm not on glue and I'm going to go through it again. I'm going to stick with my theory that they are transfer swipes because we're going to build it here and we're going to put it somewhere else. So my base coat for this transfer swipe ribbon pour is basically a dirty cup. It was all my other pours that I did today and I just dumped them all back in the same cup and I just laid them down. That's what we're doing. Next was... Uh, TLP Lakeside. This is TLP mixed with a little bit of TLP ore mixed with a little bit of uh, Brilliant Gold. TLP Asparagus. That's not true. Seaweed. And then we're going to this is the cheapy stuff. This is lime green from the dollar store. No name brand. I don't think it, it's, I think it's just called paint, basically, acrylic paint. And then my favorite, as always, Amsterdam Golden Ochre. And then we're going to swipe it in black. And with any luck, we will be able to transfer it over onto a clean, fresh tile on just a basic plain white base. So sometimes I've used the dirty pour for my base, my last piece I think I did. Uh, yeah, it just depends what I feel like. I'm swiping with paper, you guys. I had one palette knife that I was quite fond of and I cannot find it anywhere. And I've tried every other palette knife in the toolbox and I hate them all. I hate them all. And my big one that I got from Fluid Art Company is outside in the shed. Well, not the shed, it's outside in the shop. Shed sounds like I've put it away and I haven't. Okay, let's do some more. So we are swiping all in black tonight. And I'm still kind of trying to figure out like just exactly, oh goodness, just exactly what we can do with 
directions. I think that we can go in many different directions and still have success, but we'll see. I'm gonna put one more down. I forgot my white. I like to put my white in these and I forgot it. But we'll see what we can do. Okay, this time we're gonna spin it out a tiny bit and then we're gonna transfer it. All right, we're gonna put it aside into the safe zone. We'll pop the bubbles in just a second. We're gonna put that down and then we're gonna put that there. Hopefully you guys are all still where I put you. And we're gonna lay down just some plain white base coat. So my base coat is Glidden Essentials. It wasn't thick enough, it's never thick enough. And so I just add a good size scoop of Velspar. Um, the Velspar Ultra Deep Base and the Glidden paints work really well together. I've never had a problem. And that's it, that's all that's in it. So we're gonna pop the bubbles. So I've seen a couple different people do this and everybody does it differently. I just find for me that putting my base coat down first and tipping and stretching it out so that it's sort of this exactly as you want. I don't want it moving. I want mainly the paint to be gone. I just find this works better for me. And you know what? We are all unique and diverse and individual and you really have to do what works for you. I think maybe a little more paint is in order, but because it's thick, we're going to give it a minute. We're just going to tip this down and move it around. So I have to tell you all my exciting things that happened today. I'm really good at painting. I'm not really good at finishing and I'm not really good at self-promoting and sales and I, I do put pieces in at a restaurant and I got to admit I'm not super diligent about keeping up on whether they're for sale or not for sale and I know right now that they have a few empty spots on their wall and I should be getting on painting for the intent to put them in the restaurant and Christmas is coming and it's a really good time to sell pieces and so I have a bunch of pieces finished and then this morning I thought, you know, I lose a percentage on commission to the restaurant, so why don't I throw them in the Facebook marketplace and see what happens. So I don't think I had my tiles up for about 10 minutes and the lady called me and wanting to know if one in particular was still available and I said yes it was. And then another lady called me about the same piece. Well, let me back up. Let me back up my story here. Get off my crazy train for a sec. The lady that called me right away came immediately within half an hour and picked up the tile that she bought. The second lady called to see if the same tile was still available and I hadn't even changed the ad yet. So I said, no, it wasn't available. And so she decided that she would take the other one, but she's coming on Thursday, which anybody that sells through Marketplace knows that it's not always the way it is, but hopefully she makes good on her on her comment of coming on Thursday. And then I got yet another call from someone that asked me if I could do a similar style pour and they chose the colors. So I said, sure, I can try. Um, I'm not 100%. Sorry guys, this is taking forever and so I'm just gonna gab. While, it, while we're stretching paint, I'm gonna gab. Um, I'm not really super good on commissions because more often than not, I've had commissions where it, they like whatever they saw and then they're not so fussy on what I've done, even though it's almost the same as what they had. And so I tend to just paint and what you see is what you get. But I agreed to do this. So I've been working on pieces for her because I decided that I will give her her choice and the choices she doesn't take, I'll just resin, throw in the restaurant. That's my theory, you guys. All right, that was the longest stretch of base coat ever. And I'm talking really fast because I had window guys come today and it was really cold in the house, so I cranked up the heat and of course, now I'm having a hot flash and I think I'm gonna die. 
but I know I'm not. All right, let's pop these bubbles. And let's pop these bubbles too. Okay, let's try to pick up some of this color and transfer it. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna pick up my colors with a playing card just because it seems to work best for me. And let's start right here. So we're just gonna scoop and lift. All right, my friends, here we go. So if you guys are familiar with Instagram, you guys gotta watch Jessica Winterstrom do this. This is, she's the most incredible. She does the most amazing pieces ever, ever. Absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna put that one there and we're gonna do another one. So same card. And I'm gonna pick up, what am I gonna pick up? Maybe we'll pick up from the other side and get some of these pretty cells here. And since Monday came and went and I missed it, we might just modify. I missed the Monday mod. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. And we're gonna spin it a little bit. Here we go. And then we're gonna modify. I think we should do it. We're gonna use some really, really just expensive custom design tools, you guys. You'll be shocked. A lot of you already know what kind of nonsense comes out of my kitchen. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Super suction. So these tiles, guys, are on sale at Home Depot for, I think they're $1.22. So they're a little bit bigger than the normal ones that I paint on. They're super nice. For a buck twenty-two. I have 10 of them. All right, let's give this one more spin. And then let's let's do something with it. All right, here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna try something I don't usually do because I had a comment about not being able to see what I was doing when I was modifying. So I'm gonna put you guys on hold. I'm gonna try to drop this down closer. I don't have a lot of success when my video is really close, but we're gonna see. So I'm gonna put you on pause for a minute. I'm gonna turn the heat down and lose my sweater before I perish and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm super close. I don't know if this is gonna work or not going to work, but we're gonna give it a shot. So. Here's my expensive art tools, you guys. It's a toothpick with a bead glued on top. That's all. We're gonna use both ends of the toothpick and we're just going to make some little embellishments. I don't even know if you can see right now. All right, here we go. I think you can. I'm gonna try not to put my head in here, but I make no promises. Little lines, guys, that's all we're doing. Like, remember when you used to sit and doodle on a piece of paper? That's all we're really doing. We're just doodling in our paint. Doesn't have to be big lines, just little, little lines. I tell you guys, every time, the tidier the lines you make now, the better the outcome in the end. I like this fold. I'd like to have more folds like that, but it's all the way I turn my hand and I'm still sort of trying to figure that out. But don't be afraid to kind of really go in and you can push your paint around and move it and add to it. It's, it's pretty versatile. If your consistency is right, it's really, really, it, it's super, super versatile. It will hold its shape and you can definitely manipulate it and change it any way you want. So we're gonna bring all of these in with a little swirl in just a minute. Oh, 
or let's scroll it now. So uh, toothpick, bead, and we're just gonna kind of hover above. I don't usually press right down and just pick it up as we swirl. And that's it. That's how simple that was to make those little swirlies. Little swirlies, I don't even know what to call them. So we're just gonna run with little swirlies. All right, let's make some more. Let's maybe take some in here. So again, I say this to you, if they're not holding their shape, give it like 10, 15, even 20 minutes, and then just come back and give them all a little bit of a twist because they will hold their shapes. Um, once our paint sets, it's, a, it's kind of a game changer for holding its lines and it'll all work out. All right, let's do some more. So I'm wiping off each time as I go, but it's not necessary and I'll show you what happens. So now we didn't wipe off. So now we're gonna come back in this way over here. And then we've just given a little bit more visual interest to this piece. We've actually kind of added a little bit of stamens if you want this to kind of have a floral feel. And that's how easy that is. Super, super easy. And then we're just gonna twist some of these. So you guys all really like these curly cues and they're so, so simple to do. So I don't really wanna to do too much in here. And I don't want to wreck my fold. So you can make some little lines, just like we did up here. And just pull them in and you don't even have to go far with them. Just pull them in and pull them along. That's probably about it, guys. Sometimes too much is overkill for me. That's just me. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna love you guys and leave you. And I'm gonna hope that my big head wasn't in the way, but I just realized I bent over this entire piece that I was doing. And so you probably have my hair. I wear glasses and I can't see unless everything is like two inches from my nose. So it sucks to get old, guys. It sucks to get old. So remember, if these are starting to lose shape, like I don't really care for this one, I'm just, I'll probably keep playing with it. Like, you know, five, 10 minutes from now, you can, oh, I didn't do it justice, that's for sure. Just let my paint set up and come back. There, that's a bit better. All right, my friends, let's, um, I don't know if I'm gonna bring you down. All right, I'm gonna try, we'll see what happens. Oh goodness. All right, here we go. So look at all these pretty colors, it's quite, it's quite dark, but that's okay. Lots of greens. Here's all our pretty little swirls and our fun little things. Super, super simple, guys. Be creative. There's our flower stamens. Think out of the box, you guys. Crazy glue, a toothpick, and a bead. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen tonight. You guys are awesome. You are all awesome. I so, so cannot tell you how appreciative and how... Just over the moon excited I am when I see all of your comments. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.